did these car makers compare to other companies? I mean, how far behind are Japan has been at the forefront of the auto industry, pioneering just-in-time manufacturing and leading the development of hybrid cars. But the next big evolution, the shift to electric vehicles, are the Japanese missing out. Nissan was the first automobile manufacturer to provide a mass-produced battery-only vehicle a little over 10 years ago. More than 500,000 Leaf hatchbacks had been sold by the end of the previous year, proving that it's been a huge success, at least by electric car standards. But Japan's powerful car industry faces the risk of falling behind as the path Nissan blazed gets more and more congested. Regulators and Japanese automakers are hedging their bets as governments around the world make audacious promises to switch to electric-only vehicles. For as long as possible, Japan intends to capitalize on its substantial investment in the technology that's allowed it to lead the world market for the current generation of environmentally friendly automobiles. Masato Inoue, the lead designer of the original LEAF, noted that the nation's most significant industry runs the risk of losing a revolutionary opportunity due to this short-term concentration. There's always fear when disruption occurs, Mr. Inoue, who left Nissan in 2014, said. Nevertheless, he continued, a big wave of electric vehicles is really coming, ready or not. Right now, it's just a small wave, less than 3% of automobiles sold worldwide are electric vehicles, as many consumers are put off by their higher price, shorter range, and longer charging times. A profit on the cars is hard to come by unless you count some luxury models. Nevertheless, this year has seen an acceleration and expansion of the Tesla-led drive towards an all-electric future. General Motors made history in January when it announced that it would remove all tailpipe emissions from its vehicles, with the goal of doing so by 2035. Volvo committed last week to become an electric-only vehicle by 2030, surpassing the commitments of its bigger rivals. Along with established automaker giants from other industries like Apple and startups like the Chinese startup NIO are vying for market share. American, Chinese, European and South Korean automakers are already outpacing their Japanese rivals. Only in China did Toyota introduce its first battery electric car to the general public until the beginning of 2020. Honda is depending on General Motors to manufacture electric cars for the American market. Less than 5% of battery electric vehicles sold globally last year were Japanese automobiles, according to market research company EVVolumes.com. This percentage was primarily due to the Leaf's ongoing appeal, as it made up close to 65% of all battery electric cars sold in Japan. Plans to either require increased sales of electric cars in the upcoming years or outlaw gasoline-burning vehicles have sparked a rush towards electric automobiles in China, Europe and other countries. According to scientists, the shift away from gas-powered cars is essential to halting global warming and lowering pollution. These actions have opened up a massive market for all electric cars, which investors believe are the cars of the future. Tesla, for example, is worth more than the total value of the next six automakers, even though its sales are a very small percentage of those of the other five. However, some of the fundamental presumptions driving the electric bandwagon are being questioned in Japan by the government and automakers. They doubt the potential profitability and environmental superiority of electric cars, at least in the short to medium term. In December, Japan declared that new cars powered solely by gasoline would no longer be sold there after 2035. But the government still views hybrids as an important technology and has no intention of following the lead of places like Britain and California that plan to ban them, an official from the trade ministry said in a recent interview. Japanese regulators say they'll release specifics this year. The most influential voice opposing the elimination of hybrid vehicles is that of Akio Toyoda, president of Toyota, the company that leads the world in sales of hybrid vehicles and chairman of the Japan Automobile Manufacturers Association. For the whole Japanese auto industry, the business sets the standard. In addition to owning Daihatsu, it's partnered with three small automakers, Subaru, Suzuki and Mazda, to develop electric vehicles, including hybrids. Together, these three automakers produce over half of all Japanese automobiles. Additionally, it's made a big deal out of promoting automobiles that operate on clean burning hydrogen, a technology that's still relatively new in Japan and beyond. In his role as the head of the Automobile Association, Mr. Toyoda mocked the notion that Japan would switch from hybrids to all electric cars during a press conference in December. He also accused the Japanese media of exaggerating the car's environmental and commercial potential. Mr. Toyota emphasized that the cleanliness of electric automobiles depends on the companies that manufacture them and the electricity that supplies them. The second biggest market for Toyota, Japan, 
intends to become carbon neutral by 2050. But he added that as long as the country uses fossil fuels to produce energy, the environmental benefits of its cars will remain a myth. He continued saying that Japanese automakers are hanging on by their fingernails, and that if the country forced the transition to all electric cars, which are simpler to construct and have fewer parts, it might result in the loss of millions of jobs and the collapse of an entire industry of suppliers of auto parts. However, switching from producing hybrid cars to producing all electric cars is challenging, according to Mr. Inoue. If many companies don't change now, the efficient production of electric vehicles will become quite difficult in the future. The two types of automobiles cannot be produced profitably on the same platforms. Nissan is likely the most well-positioned of Japan's main automakers to compete in the market for emission-free cars because of its experience in producing electric vehicles in large quantities. However, the business freely acknowledges that it's lost its lead and is currently rushing to catch up. Last summer, it unveiled the Aria, a sports utility vehicle which is its most ambitious battery electric car since the LEAF. Additionally, the business said in January that it would achieve carbon neutrality by 2050, a move that was in line with a late year shift in federal policy. But it's proceeding slowly, just like the other Japanese automakers. Nissan's chief sustainability officer, Joey Tagawa, stated in an email that by the early 2030s, every all-new vehicle offering for Nissan's key markets will be electrified, However, we'll gradually switch to electrified vehicles in other markets. In the interim, the business will actively advertise its more recent hybrid technology known as e-power, which is essentially an electric motor driven by a gas generator. The government's lack of excitement for emission-free automobiles is going to seriously disadvantage Japanese automakers, according to Kazuo Yejima, the principal engineer of the LEAF before he founded Blue Sky Technology, a firm that creates micro-electric vehicles. According to Mr. Miyajima, China and the European Union have lost the fight for hybrid technology. Therefore, their governments have strategically decided to invest in the advancement of electric vehicle technology, including vital components like batteries. Mr. Yajima expressed concern that Japanese automakers' hesitation to transition to all electric vehicles would force them to meet the same fate as the nation's consumer electronics companies, which have essentially become irrelevant due to their inability to stay ahead of the market trends. The automotive sector is the final battlefield for Japanese industry, and if Japan wants to win, it should be really cautious over the next 10 years. If it loses the opportunity to move to the field of electric vehicles, it may completely fade away. That's all for now, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, then don't forget to hit the like button below. And if you want to stay updated with more great content like this, Make sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button and just ringing the notification bell so you never miss any future content from us. Your support really means the world to us.